Hi everyone, it's me, Marcus Films, again. And today I'm going to show you how I do my stop motion. You can use this as a tutorial or or maybe it's helpful for you if you are an animator or something. But this is how I do my stop motion. Now, before we start, you need to know that I am not professional. I'm just a guy who got bored one day and decided to to start doing something, to start this, doing this kind of video, you know. I love action figures, I love toys, I love all this, and I love what I do, you know, because what I have on mind, I put it on the screen, everything, everything. So, let's begin, shall we? So, every time when I start a stop motion, I sit right here on this chair, on this table, this is my studio work for now. And I sit here because I, on this box I have all my action figures and over there on the wall I have the other action figures uh, like I showed you in, in other videos. And I sit here and I open my box and well I start to play with them. I just, I just take some action figures and start playing with them. Uh, well, that's when I, I don't have an idea on, on what story to make about the, my next stop motion, okay? So I take out some action figures and I start to play with them, like I said. But when I have an, the idea right here in my head, I just open my box on all my action figures and I choose the action figure that I'm going to be using. But for now, I don't have an idea on what on my next stop motion. What could it be? So when so once and that I have choose my action figures that I'm going to be working on, or, and I have the uh, some idea on my head, I choose the action figures that I'm going to be working on. Like for example, Captain America and Spider Man, and I and I go to the next step that is going to be planning the script and and everything. So once I have my, my action figure selected, like I change Spider-Man for Batman because some some things happen. So once I, ha I have chose the, the action figure that I'm going to be working on, uh, I start to play with them again to, to see how the story is going to begin or how everything is going to start from where to where. So I start to play with them, like talking to myself and playing, doing some sound effects from my mouth. Like nobody's at home and I, I'm free to do, to do this and I just come up with some stuffs. <laughs> So this helped me a lot because I, with my eyes, I can see the angle that the camera is going to be. Like if the camera, I want, I want it to be like this, so we can see Captain America punching Batman in the face, and Batman's head is going to be turned to the camera. So that's how I, I think. Oh, that uh, that angle is going to be so good. And from the other side, from from any any other side. So once I have the the action sequence plan on my head and some lines, I start to shoot. So what I what I use for my for my videos, I use my personal cell phone. This is the iPhone 5 5C. I use the iPhone 5C. It's my regular phone, and as you can see I, I do phone calls and message. Uh, it was just uh, just uh, the most uh, the only the the important stuff like YouTube of course. On this app, I I I reply to comments on my videos and Facebook and Messenger and some some other stuff. I, I don't have games in here. Just have the the stuff that that I use daily. And for the stop motion, I use this app right here. It calls Stop Motion. You can see there. Stop motion is really great that app and it's free. It's really awesome. I really love this and it's really really easy to use. So this is the only app that I use right now. It's, it's very easy. And for the light, it's very important to use light. I use these ones. It's really is. This light is for photography. I bought this on eBay. It's kind of they're kind of cheap price, so you can find it and. This this is the light is really important to 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 stop motion videos, 
and I had this one right here turned on because I'm recording right now and this is the tripod that I use for to, to hold my cell phone to, so I can uh, shoot the without moving the camera because it's really important that you don't have to move the camera you, the camera it has to be only one on one place for that scene you don't have to move it with your hand you have to put the, your phone or whatever you're going to be using for your videos you have to put it wh where it doesn't move so I, I use this tripod you can find some cheap at Walmart or or at eBay so once I have created a little bit of background and for my scene I have my action figure right there and my phone placed on the tripod I use these headphones for to to take the pictures because when you when you press here on the volume it takes the picture because uh, we, we, if you touch the, the phone to take the picture to take the picture you're gonna move the, the, the phone a little bit and it's going to be like the photo is gonna come out a little bit shaky or move it so that's why I connect to my headphones and sometimes put it in my mouth that's why it's, it's like this <laughs> to shoot and use my both hands to move the action figures so I'm gonna show you right now I, I start like this and I put this like this all the way up so I can see the, the full picture I adjust the focus and move it a little bit and looks great right there so once I have my 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 phone that where I want it to to be I log everything up so no one can move it so and that's it so I start to shoot I start to shoot pressing the volume you can see there it took the photo you can see the the move that, that you just did with the action figure so you need to slide this down I always put it in the middle right right there and you can see like a ghost uh, figure, like a ghost. You, let me show you. You see right there. You see it's like a looks like a ghost, and you can see where where the 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 arm was before. Sometimes when the action figure doesn't stand well, like like this, Captain America is kind of falling down so easily on every move that I make. So I place a little bit of, of clay under his boots. Or I use one of these uh, bases that I that I got, and I also if the action figure is going to make a jump or something like that, I use this little base with this with this thing that you can attach it to to the to the action figure and put it like like he's gonna jump or if he's flying. <laughs> So now that I have everything, I start to to set the time, the time per frames. So just like this, it's gonna be moving like this, and you can set the the uh, the frames per second, whatever you want. And sometimes I I eat, I put it on non different frames per second. So. Just I just play with it like just to see which one is is is, uh, is the one that I'm looking for. So and I I just I you can also hold some pictures like to hold the the, the time. Let's do the same thing for the other one. Time per seconds and also for the other part and now it's ready to save to the camera roll and ready to export to the computer
and for the green screen this is my setup for green screen it's very important to use enough light so this is my little setup for, for the green screen So now everything is finally done, everything has been shot, it's time to move everything that I have to the computer. I use After Effects to use for green screen or um, special effects like power beams or if I want to put the, the, the action figure flying or swinging. I use After Effects, it's really helpful and it's really awesome, I really love this app. So as the, like the green screen, we, we're gonna use uh, another background like New York Street or some city streets and we're going to put Iron Man on that city. So that's my, my city streets, we're going to just resize it a little bit. And we're gonna put it in the background. So now we're, uh, we're going to remove the green color will go to key and key light 1.2 and that should do the trick really nice and you have some setting here so you can adjust them and as you can see here we have Iron Man in, on the, in the middle of, of the street of some city <laughs> looks really good and now let's go ahead and add some special effects So the same thing for the other video, we have here uh, a picture with the two action figures and another one with only the background. So we're going to mask only the action figure to remove that stick. We're going to just remove that stick and we're going to keep the, the two action figure photo. As you can see there, I'm just taming the mask on every move, on every second that it's going to be moved and the stick is going to disappear. And just like that it looks better than it looks the, the other way you can see there and finally after all the special effects are done it's time to move to iMovie it's time to go to 
to the audio recording, voice recording, soundtrack, sound effects, and to put all the clips in order. So on with the intro and outro and everything is going to be neat on the video. After everything is done, I take a quick look to the video and export the whole the whole thing and finally upload it to YouTube. So that's how I do my stop motion guys and sometimes it's well, most of the time it's really hard to do, even if I am going to do a little clip of, of stop motion. It's a hard job and you need to, to practice uh, every day or, or every time so you to, to be better, to get better. So th thank you for watching guys, now you know my little secret <laughs> and I tried to explain it the best I could. So see you guys later. <laughs>